we were asked to perform the indicated operation. Notice how we have a radical expression times another radical expression. We determine this product the same way we multiply two binomials. Remember when multiplying two binomials, we have four products. And we can think of this as repeated distribution. We distribute the first term of the first binomial into the second binomial, which gives us the first two products, here and here. And then we distribute the second term of the first binomial into the second binomial, which gives us the remaining two products. You can notice how we have four products. And when multiplying radical expressions, we multiply the terms outside the radical together, and then multiply the terms under the radical together. So for the first product, we have four square root x times four square root x, which is going to give us four times four times the square root of x times x. Again, we multiply the fours together outside the square root, and then multiply the x's together under the square root. For the next product, we have four square root x times negative five square root y. Because the product is going to be negative, we can write this as minus, and then we have four times five outside the square root, and then under the square root, we have x times y. Here are the first two products. Now let's find the remaining two products. The next product is five square root y times four square root x, which gives us plus five times four times the square root of y times x, or just x times y. And then for the final product, we have five square root y times negative five square root y. Because the result is negative, it gives us minus five times five times the square root of y times y. Now let's simplify. Here we have 16 square root x squared minus 20 square root xy plus 20 square root xy and then minus 25 square root y squared. Notice here we have minus 20 square root xy plus 20 square root y. These terms are opposites and therefore the sum is zero. And then here notice how we have the square root of x squared which simplifies perfectly to one factor of x. This simplifies to 16x. And then here we have minus 25 times the square root of y squared. The square root of y squared simplifies to one factor of y, and therefore this simplifies to minus 25y. The product of the radical expressions simplifies nicely to 16x minus 25y. If we go back up to the original expressions, notice how these are considered conjugates because here we have four square root x plus five square root y, and here we have four square root x minus five square root y. I hope you found this helpful.